dawn breaks over Baltimore Harbour. A school of common dolphins is the first sign that the herring and sprat, this morning's breakfast, are close by. And if they are... Oh, they've come up there, hold on. The other fella. The humpbacks are probably here too. Then, just after nine o'clock... Yeah, bubble netting. Bubble, bubble netting. Bubble netting. Our first two humpbacks of the day, and they're hungry. I don't do big tail now, maybe after that, keep going. The whales are bubble feeding, a sight rarely captured in Irish waters. Porrick Hooley of the Irish Whale and Dolphin Group is watching on board the nearby Holly Joe. Yeah, bubble net is it's a kind of a, it's a it's a feeding technique that's unique to humpback whales, where they swim to the seabed and they're slowly coming up to the surface, and as they're spiralling up to the surface, they're venting bubbles from their blowholes, and that's that's in effect trapping the fish because they're pretty stupid animals, uh, the herring and the sprats. Two hundred yards. Photographer Ewan Jacobs' pictures have alerted the public to the presence of the humpbacks. I've done a lot of sailing over the years all around the world and I've never witnessed something like that um, in any of the waters, America, South America, all of Europe. Well, I've gone to a few different areas around the world whale watching uh, with the Irish Whale and Dolphin Group and, and by myself. And what we witnessed this morning with the bubble netting, uh, the tail fluking, I mean, really, you know, you, if it's on your doorstep, you don't have to travel that far. What's remarkable is that we're just five or six miles off the coast here and we've been with these humpbacks for over two hours. There are fin and minky whales all around us and dozens of common dolphins playing underneath the boat. And we're not in Hawaii or off the coast of Africa. We're in Baltimore, West Cork. It may be November, but visitors are already beginning to arrive here. The tourist season has just kicked off in Baltimore. Pascal Sheehy, RTE News, West Cork.